Are you guys tired of voice meter or voice meter potato or voice meter banana having these weird crackling issues and all you can do to fix it is stop and restart and you still have no idea what the problem is? Well, if so, you guys have stumbled across the right video and today I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. What is going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And then today we're gonna to be talking about how to fix crackling and popping and just your audio getting super distorted in Voice Meter Pro, um, Banana, Potato, just the regular one, you know, we're gonna be talking about and covering all that and this covers all of those different programs. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys, so we're going to be taking a look at this invoice meter potato. Do not be overly distracted by how many channels and how many settings there are in voice meter potato. It should be the same for banana and just regular voice meter. And I will show those to you guys in just a second. This should be the exact same stuff that you do. There are just more things going on on this screen. So to fix this, it's very simple, but it took me forever to actually figure out what the issue was. And it is actually called audio buffer and what there is is there's a certain a certain amount of buffer there is allowed for audio coming through so voice meter potato uh, banana or whichever version of voice meter you're using can process the audio and then spit it out because as you can see here I've actually got my microphone coming through it's processing it and that's why my microphone sounds better than it does you know just right out of the box I like using that and there's tons of features and you could do that for all these audio channels. The problem you run into is with that much effects, there needs to be a buffered zone for it. So I had no idea what I was doing. And after a few people mentioning some things to me and changing different things, the, the main fix you're going to get from people on the internet is, well, um, we need to change, say for instance, um, this input right here is having an issue. You need to change it from MME to WDM or KS. And that is almost the fix. And it, it's kind of true, kind of not. So I'm gonna give you some pros and cons of two different fixes that you can do. And I do a balance of both of those. So the best fix, or the easiest fix actually, is to increase the buffer. So you'll go to me, uh, menu, and we're looking for system settings, I believe. Yes, and so right here, you can see there are buffers for these respective audio types. So you can see here, there's MME, KS, and WDM. And these, I don't remember what MME stands for or KS. I think WDM is Windows Device Manager. Um, there are different buffer settings. So MME, as you can see, has more memory set aside or lane set aside for audio buffering as WDM and KS. So a fix to this is you can increase the buffer. So I can click here and you can see that changing this parameter requires a specific expertise and it might cause issues. So I can increase this buffer and that will essentially work. There is a problem with increasing this buffer and I did not know this until I started recording video and that is there is an audio delay. If you were recording video and all of your audio is routed through this, there shouldn't be an issue. You would just have to make sure the sync is well with the video. Um, I do not like having syncing issues because I might record for an hour to two hours at a time on a gaming channel or I might be streaming and I really can't do or I really can't deal with a bunch of buffer. So to fix this, yes, you can increase the buffer. I would increase it little by little. I wouldn't jump, say, from this 1024 to 2048. While yes, it might increase your buffer, you might start experiencing significant audio delay. Check and see if this is something that works for you and see if that delay affects you or not, but try the first level and then go from there. As far as these, I do not have a preference, but try MME. And the reason why I say try MME is mainly because the buffer is higher than the other two and you might not run into that problem. So let's talk about the second issue that I have. And the second issue that I have is I utilize one, two, three, four, audio inputs and I'm adjusting audio here as well. So I do use up all those lanes. So to fix that, I run some audio through MME, some through WDM, and I don't know if I run any through KS. I don't at the moment, um, but you can split those up. You're not going to see any significant issues running them through different audio channels. You're just setting them in different buffer lanes, and that means you're gonna actually run into a less um, option of crackling. And basically what crackling is caused by is say that menu or that lane for WDM is, uh, or MME is set to 1024, you send 1030 
worth of audio bandwidth to it and it just breaks and the only way to fix it is to restart the audio engine right here this is a way to do that without having to ever worry about that again so with that being said i'll go ahead and pull up banana as well as the other voice meter so you guys can take a look at that all right i apologize if my microphone doesn't sound near as good because i'm not going through voice meter potato anymore and having those audio settings applied but this is the same instance here it's just going to be menu system settings and you can see your buffer is here as well and you can adjust that like i said or you could just simply change these to use wdm on one and mme on the other and voice meter banana is the same as well all right, guys, so that's going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications if you haven't already. And be sure to let us know in the comment section down below if this did help you. Uh, that is going to be all for this video. This is Chad from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.